Welcome to Blender for Beginners. Today we will learn how to create a metallic color to our objects. Here we have this object, this statue I created, and first we need to do some downloading first. Okay, so the first step would be to go to um, polyheaven.com and then go to HDRIs. So browse the HDRIs and download any HDR you like, so download. I will show you another way to accomplish the same uh, result without having to download. If you don't have internet or you don't want to download an image, you can go to your, uh, in Mac, I, I imagine in Windows is a similar process, so I'm working on Mac, so I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac. You go to the Blender application, in your application folder, right click and then click on show package contents. Then double click on contents, then double click on resources, then double click on 3.0, then double click on data files, then double click on studio lights, then double click on world. And here you have these EXR images that are the same, uh, you can use it the same as the HDRI images from the web. So I will select this courtyard, I will right click and click uh, copy. And then I come to my desktop, right click and click paste. Okay, so that's the way you access to these files. So now that we have these files, we'll return to our uh, project and then we'll come here to our world icon, this red icon. And I'm going to click on the color dot here on the, this yellow dot. I'm going to click and I'm going to change it to environment texture. And here I will click on open and I will choose the image I just uh, extracted from the Blender folder. Okay, apparently there's no change, but if we go here on the top uh, right uh, part of the screen to the these uh, little circle icons, we click on the last one. So we see the render view. And as you can see, we have created a lighting uh, from an image, from the image we just imported. Okay, so to remove this image that doesn't look good, we come here to this camera icon, then we go to the film part, and then we click on transparent. And that's the way we, yeah, that's how we uh, hide that image, but still uh, use the benefit of that image being there, okay? Now that we have done this, we go to the interesting part. We are going to click on our object. We're going to come here to this uh, radioactive uh, icon button, this circle. And there we, we're gonna come here to uh, the materials. I will remove the materials that it has just to start fresh. And I'm going to click on new. Now that we have uh, this new material, I'm going to come to this metallic uh, part of the of the properties and I'm going to uh, click and drag. I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to make this metallic. Okay. Now that we've done this, we can go to the roughness part and we can decrease the roughness to make it even more shiny. Okay. The reason we imported uh, the image as a uh, the, the image we extracted extracted from the Blender folder or downloaded from the web is so we have something to reflect. Because if you don't have an image in the like acting as a background, the the metallic uh, part won't reflect. Okay. So we need that image. So our metallic uh, effect is complete because we need the reflection. Okay. So you can play, play with the roughness to adjust the reflections. And now we have our uh, metallic statue. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more content like this, please like and subscribe. See you around.